my fellow homeschool graduates. Our journey to this day has been anything but typical. In fact, we have redefined the meaning of school. As each of our families will attest, there is no such thing as the typical homeschool experience. For some of us, school meant studying Saxon algebra at the kitchen table. For others, it meant earth science co-ops or Florida virtual Spanish. While for still others, school meant school speech classes at community college. School may have been a classroom of one, or it may have been a classroom shared with eight siblings. Yet, despite our diverse experiences, homeschooling allowed us to share a common but lofty goal, pursuing our passions. For this, we owe our parents a huge thanks. Our parents taught us much more than how to read and write, multiply and divide. Our parents taught us the value of working towards something much bigger than ourselves. For while history and science, literature and math lessons will help us as we move forward, it was the ability to pursue our passions and dream big dreams that we will value the most. Let's take a few moments to reflect on how our homeschooling adventure provided us the flexibility, direction, and purpose to pursue our passions. Homeschooling gave us the flexibility to spend our time in ways that best suited our talents as well as our shortcomings. Our flexible schedules allowed us to tailor workloads and curriculums to build upon our strengths and shore up our weaknesses. If we were in excelling in a subject like math, we could advance quickly. Miles Lehman moved so quickly through his math that he now has two years worth of college calculus completed. If we needed to spend more time on a subject, such as writing, we could do that as well. Sheila Layton continued to sharpen her skills as a journalist and eventually wrote a series of which has won her multiple college scholarships. Our flexible schedules also allowed us to spend more time on extracurricular activities. John Davis poured more than 500 hours into community service projects. He helped raise more than 1,000 pounds of food for his local food banks. Tyler Graves spent his extra time in the pool swimming lap after lap after lap. As a result, he's now ranked second in the straight state in the breaststroke. But the flexibility afforded by homeschooling would be pointless without direction. And who better to help us with that direction than our parents? Our parents used homeschooling to direct us towards unique, out-of-the-box opportunities. For a homeschooler, history took on a whole new meaning. We did not just learn about the Civil War. We participated in reenactments and walked battlefields. We experienced history. Physical education also took on a different twist. Exercise didn't just mean running a mile. It also meant taking responsibility for the kickball game of a dozen kids all under the age of 10. But most importantly, our parents directed us through their actions. Our parents have lived lives of sacrifice. I'm reminded of how my own mom walked away from a career so she could become a full-time, stay-at-home teacher. Our parents have also lived lives of perseverance. I treasure my dad's persistence and refusing to give up on me no matter how challenging it could be to teach me algebra. Finally, homeschooling has helped us find purpose in our passions. It has given us framework to ponder why we love what we love. Andy Hazelton discovered his passion for weather while cloud watching. He decided to pursue a degree in meteorology. Libby Barge found that she excelled in ballet. She'll be performing this winter as the lead in the Nutcracker Suite. Homeschooling has given us the means to see our passions used for something bigger than ourselves. Susan Simmons adores teaching. She used her passion every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon to tutor Spanish-speaking children struggling to learn English. Christian Wurtz loves soccer. He uses his passion to coach elementary age students at the Y each Monday. As our high school journey comes to an end, there will be hugs, tears, goodbyes, and good lucks. We will continue to reminisce over the flexibility, direction, and purpose that shaped us as we pursued our passions. There will be many, many thank yous for our friends and family who helped us along the way. 
and there will be a special thank you to Mr. Lawson for not only planning this day in all its festivities, but also for guiding us and our parents each step of our journey. Yes, our homeschooling adventure is coming to a close. Change can be scary, but it is necessary. And it is here facing us today. But we are ready for it. For by equipping us to pursue our passions, our homeschooling experience has equipped us to pursue what we were each uniquely created to do. Yes, change can be scary, but it is necessary. As C.S. Lewis explained, it may be hard for an egg to turn into a bird. It would be a jolly sight harder for it to learn to fly while remaining an egg. We are like eggs at present, and you cannot go indefinitely being just an ordinary, decent egg. We must be hatched or go bad. So, class of 2015, it is time for us to hatch and to fly. Thank you.